What's up, YouTube? It has been a minute. I haven't talked to the camera like this in a while. I am back home from the DCP. I did two semesters of the Disney College program and it's been great. I love the DCP, but I also love being back home, just enjoying my summer. I miss Disney like crazy. I miss all my friends. I miss being able to go to the parks whenever I wanted, but I feel like you can't have both. And you can't be home and also be at Disney at the same time. Really wish I could. I decided I wanted to make more DCP videos, even though I'm not there anymore, because now that I've been through the college program, I feel like there's a lot I can like tell you and actually like make videos about it. Oh, I'm wearing my Starlet Splash shirt. They give them to us for free at Starlet Splash. If you don't know, that's the event they do at the end of the spring program. It's like a huge pool party at Typhoon Lagoon. It was just like really cool to have all of Typhoon Lagoon just for CPs. It makes you realize how many CPs there are. There's so many people because we had that park packed. Anyway, today's video is going to be things I learned during my DCP. The most important things I learned. So this is just like really random things. Just like good to know to make the best out of your DCP. It would have been great if somebody had told me these things. I'm looking at my notes over here. So if you've been in the DCP before, you might find some of these like funny. I think they're funny. They're just very relatable, I guess. And you'll see what I mean when I say them. Without further ado, here we go. Number one, the guests will be guesty. So don't waste your time trying to like fight with them. You can't fix the problem. Like honestly, you could just call a leader. Just ask them right away if they want to talk to a leader or coordinator. Just be like, you want me to get a leader for you? I don't know, sometimes people just need to talk to a manager to like actually understand. Number two, new fast passes drop at 11 a.m. Every single day at 11 a.m. you can open and refresh the Disney app and there'll be new fast passes there. If you want to get fast passes for Flight of Passage, that is how you do it. Number three, talk to the kids and they remind you of the magic and why you work there. And they're not as like stressed as the parents are at Disney. And then when the parents see the kid like interacting with the cast member, like how happy they are. And if you make them happy, you give them stickers or something, then they'll appreciate that. Number four, if you hold your hand on the Nemo ride, run, just just trust me on that one. Every work location should have its own reality TV show. You'll have this thought at one point or another. Everybody at work will date each other at some point. It's like one big high school to be honest. Number six, you're gonna be tired at work anyway, so just suck it up and go out and be with your friends, go do stuff. Time's gonna go by really, really fast. You won't even realize how fast until all of a sudden your program is over and you didn't do half the things that you wanted to do. Hopefully you'll love all your roommates or most of your roommates, and if not, your work friends, you're actually gonna spend more time with them because you work all the time. Buy merch only when you have the 40% holiday discount. It's okay to have lazy days. Don't get burnt out. I know time goes by fast and you don't wanna waste it, but also don't be at the other extreme where you never rest. You need to relax and you need to make time for grocery shopping, cleaning the apartment and all that. Number 10, DAC has the most quick service discounts for cast members. Number 11, it's okay if you have to call out. Don't be like me and don't call out just because you don't want to have any points ever. Just be smart about when you call out. Number 12, getting one reprimand is not the end of the world. I got one reprimand, didn't really matter. It matters more if you want to end up working there. If you want to extend, first of all, it matters how many points you have and everything. And also if you want to work there later, just find out what you're allowed to have if you want to stay. Sometimes you just can't help it. Sometimes you have to call out 30 times in 30 days and you get a reprimand, but it's not the end of the world. Just try to not get another one. Number 13, the Starbucks at Springs has a discount. Number 14, the Frozen shows start on the half hour. That's very important to me because that was my favorite show the entire time I was at. 15, the AMC at Disney Springs has a discount for cast members. Number 16, go hang out at the resorts if you don't wanna be in the parks because you think they're too hectic. Like don't be lazy and just not go anywhere. You can always go to the resorts. They're a lot more chill and you can still be like at Disney experiencing new things without being like crazy in the parks. Try to keep a small umbrella in your bag. Buy a tiny one, tiny, tiny one from Ikea. It fits in my little like backpack and I always had it on me. You only really have to do laundry every two weeks, honestly. You're mostly going to be wearing your costume. You're barely gonna get other clothes dirty. Just make sure you have like enough clothes to not have to do laundry every single week because I hated doing laundry and being stressed about if somebody was going to take out my clothes from the dryer and all that. I didn't like it. It was not fun. So I tried to make my clothes last me two weeks. Leaving your friends is the hardest part of the program. You're truly going to make friends for life. I didn't realize how close I would get to people. You bond really quickly just because you don't really have anybody else and you're going to spend so much time with them. They're going to see you at your worst because you're going to be so tired and stressed at work sometimes. These people become like your community and your family, like everything revolves around these people. 
and you're gonna bond with them really fast. And these friends make the whole program worth it. Even on days that are really, really hard, you know you don't wanna leave because you like your friends and you wanna spend time with them and you have plans coming up with them. And the last week you spend with them is honestly the saddest thing ever. Extending is exciting until you realize Oh, your friends are leaving, they're all gone, and you are alone, and it kind of felt like the apocalypse happened, and you were the only ones that survived. Work feels really empty because there's so many people missing. It's just very interesting how those days go by. And then you feel like some sort of like veteran, like you don't want to get confused with the new CPs because you've been here longer, and the new CPs are coming in all like wide-eyed and excited, and you're just really tired. But try your best to stay positive. It is really cool to extend because you get a lot more time to do all the stuff on your list because once semester honestly was not enough time to do everything and you meet a bunch of new people also they look up to you because you know what's going on and they like to ask you questions and you can make really good friends again I know it was hard to like realize I had to make friends once again but I did make really good friends in the second half of my program too so living in Vista is fine honestly don't worry about it I made a whole video about that if you want to watch that just like like the little thing or up here I don't know where to always have a change of clothes with you when you go to work just in case you want to go to the parks after work because sometimes it wasn't even planned and then i couldn't go because i had to change out of my costume so i had to go all the way home to change and then come back and it was kind of annoying so having it with me was a lot better go to the cp events they're there for you and even if you don't want to go go because they have food like just go have fun meet new people and enjoy the reason why you're there you're not just a regular cast member you're in the college program and they have all these events just for you Befriend your coordinators, they're the best. Like honestly, the coordinators are my lifesavers and I owe them everything. <laughs> they saved my life, they made the program so much better. You're gonna find yourself making a lot of cast member jokes and using cast member lingo. And then you realize a lot of people don't know what the heck you're talking about. So watch out for that, it's always really funny. Like all those code words we use, the safety words we use, like 101, what's your 20? 104, can you 56 me at whatever? 1099, jokes like safety begins with S. Like, I don't know, random things like that. Or being like behind, like if you work in a restaurant, you go hop behind and you see walk behind people. It's very funny. If you don't have a car, be friends with someone that does. You're gonna be happy about that. The bus works. I had to take the bus at the beginning of the program and it was fine, but I did really like having the option of a car. It doesn't hurt to request an ER. Just request it. You might get it. And it's the best. It's honestly the best to get blessed with an ER. Try to trade your shifts. There's always people looking for more hours. You might not think so, because maybe you don't want to work more hours, but there's always some part-time cast member or another person. They just want more money and they want more hours. So just ask. It doesn't hurt to ask if they want to switch. Getting on scary rides was as bad as I expected them to be, but at least I can say I conquered them. I'm never getting on them again, but at least I did them. Also, lastly, when you go back home, everything will feel like it was one big dream. If it wasn't for pictures and videos, I honestly would question if it ever happened. It's weird to leave the Disney bubble. So that's it. I hope you find these relatable and funny and helpful if you're going to the DCP now, and yeah. This was a fun video to make. I just wanted to say all this stuff and put it out there to see if anybody else thinks the same way I do. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.